welcome to another studio vlog so I didn't do one last week I'm really sorry if you can hear noise in the background the guys are in next door and these walls are really really thin I can hear everything they're saying <laughs> anyway if you're new here my name's Meg and I'm the creator of Fizz and Flourish an illustration business here in Scotland and it's Wednesday already I haven't even spoken to the camera but I have been filming so the next lot of footage that you're gonna see is actually from last weekend when I did my shop update and I had a birthday sale which went amazingly thank you so much if you placed an order over on my website it honestly blows my mind every time <laughs> I know I say it all the time but it really does amaze me when orders ping in and I had the best birthday on Monday when my family were asking me what I got for my birthday I just said a table full of orders because Honestly, that was the best birthday present. So thank you so, so much for supporting this small business. It really does mean the world. Okay, let's get into the working week in the past. So cut to last weekend. Okay, so I'm actually currently set up for my draw with me video that I'm filming right now, but my notebook covers have arrived and I wanted to do an unboxing, but I don't want to move the camera because I've got it perfectly set up for the draw with me. So let's do a little overhead unboxing. That is so satisfying. I decided to only get the covers manufactured because I wanted to offer different papers. Oh my gosh, the colours are amazing. <laughs> and I decided to go for lamination on both sides. So it's got this really nice kind of matte feel to it. They feel so good. Oh my God, they feel like my bookmarks. They're so silky smooth. And then on the, oh, I love them. I'm so glad I got laminated on the other side. <gasps> Honestly, it's just the quality is so nice. If I got them manufactured with three different paper types, it would have been so expensive. So I decided to make them myself. Love it. Look what has arrived. So I don't even know if I showed you the making of these but I decided to make these little A6 memo pads and well they're not that little because they're A6 size and there's 50 pages so they'll last a long time and they've got such a great shine to them if you just look at that quality I'm so happy and it's got a really sturdy mount board and I'm beyond pleased with these I'm so glad I got these made as a little extra to my birthday collection and I didn't get that many because I made the mistake last time of buying way too many and I think it's gonna take me a while to shift all the shopping lists and stuff so I just wanted to test this out and I'm so glad I did look at that shine As you probably know by now, I'm so impatient. I didn't do an unboxing because I couldn't wait and my camera was set up for my draw with me. So I didn't do an unboxing, sorry for that. And as well as my memo pads, my new and improved daily planners have arrived. And again, the quality is just amazing. And I think the bigger boxes make such a difference. Um, there's so much more space to write stuff. It's clearer and it just looks a lot neater. So I'm really happy with that. I just need to take new photos because obviously the old ones are slightly different. And then I can update them on my website, put them back in stock. I'll probably do that at the same time as launching these products. 
And then I've made my first notebook with the new manufactured covers and the colors are perfect. This company has got the mint green bang on. So happy. They have my website on the back and my logo and on the inside it has the same pattern which I thought was really cute and it says this book belongs to and I've decided to go for three options with the paper so you've got dotted paper, squared paper which I haven't made yet and lined paper so I've printed them all off and I just need to assemble them and I think this will be a great little collection. I've printed off some birthday cards and I think what I'm going to do, someone suggested it in the comments below, I thought it was a really really good idea, but basically what I'm going to do is offer an option for curved corners or square corners. It won't be an extra cost or anything, it will just have that as an option, so if you prefer the square corners then you can choose that. So yeah, I'm really happy and again it's got the logo on the back, my website, my email and a little element of the design on the back as well as illustrated and printed in Scotland. I have a lot to do today. <laughs> I need to get cracking. I've spent the past few days working on my um sorry I'm just distracted by how awesome these memo pads are. <laughs> what was I saying? Uh yeah I've just spent the weekend doing a draw with me video so you've probably seen that before this vlog and hopefully I can film a bit of this um, birthday sale launch weekend thing. Right, I'm gonna get cracking. amazing. <sighs> Look at this table, I just... <sighs> I actually can't put it into words, so I think I need to do this.
stationery, it's really, really heavy. <laughs> So we're back to Wednesday now. I've just been to the post box to post all those amazing orders. Thank you so, so much. And I popped into the supermarket to get some sellotape because I ran out. And of course, that's all I went in for. And I came out with a plant, some pens, a candle, and of course, some notebooks in my brand colors. I should not be allowed in the stationery aisle. I actually don't normally buy from supermarkets because things like notebooks, obviously I want to support small businesses. So usually I shop for this sort of thing on Etsy or another small business website. But when your brand colors are just staring at you in the shop, it's really hard not to buy them. And I thought they would make really good props for photos. So I'm excited to use those and have some nice pens because you can't have too many nice pens, right? Okay, so I'm going to stop talking to the camera and I'm finally, finally going to edit my Draw With Me video. I made a character design tutorial video about how I use Procreate and how I draw and design characters and I just need to edit the voiceover. So I'm going to stop talking to you guys and get cracking on that and then I'll be back with you in a little bit. So I'm just going to pop on my sourcing hat that I got for my birthday. Big up to my auntie Liz for buying this for my birthday. <laughs> it says hollow on the box, but so far it's not hollow. <laughs> Comment below what house you're in. I'm pretty sure I'm Hufflepuff and proud of it. Mm. Still solid. <laughs> sorting hat and now I think it's time to go home I'm literally filming and packing because I'm hungry and I want to go home for my dinner so I'm going to pack up my laptop and I'm gonna finish editing my um, drawing video at home on the sofa and have some dinner because I've eaten so much chocolate that I really need something savory so I shall see you in the morning. Good morning guys, so happy Friday. I definitely am not getting the vlog up today. I don't think I've even filmed that much. But basically I was just packaging uh, an order and I thought I would just give you an update on the glassine envelope situation. So, so many of you got in touch and gave me some recommendations of where I can get the glassine envelopes. I, the one that I'm struggling to find is the C5 size, which I was using to package the A5 planners and the notebooks and my art prints. Basically, I don't think I need to use them for the notebooks or the planners because I've got this wrapping paper now and that protects the products. The only thing I do need them for is the art prints. I've been doing so much research into compostable bags and I really, really wanted them to work, but they are just so bad for the environment. They are not compostable. It kind of feels like a bit of a con because my compost bin, my garden bin, doesn't accept compost bags. Unless it's those food compost bags that are government approved, which are the really, really thin ones that you put in a little compost bin 
uh, for putting food and stuff in. So I don't want to send out compostable bags. People put them in the recycling and then what happens is that whole batch is void because of the compostable bags. Yeah, I think glassine is the way forward. I just need to find a supplier that has stock. And if that means changing supplier every now and again when they're out of stock, then that's just something I'll have to do. And I think the lesson here is just to have less packaging in the first place. That's kind of the goal, I guess. And with the wrapping paper, that's totally recyclable. And I think the next goal for me as a business is wrapping paper that is made from recycled materials. That's something I'm not able to invest in at the moment, but eventually, hopefully, I will. And I guess that's my update. Less packaging is better. I've never once had a problem with an order getting wet that I know of. No one's reached out to say that it's arrived damaged. And with the wrapping paper and the box, I just, I think it's so well protected as it is, so. That is the new plan. So that's the update I have on that. And I'm gonna finish wrapping this order and then I shall speak to you in a little bit. So I was very kindly gifted um, something very exciting from Prime Papier. I hope I'm saying that correctly. But I wanted to do a little unboxing because I'm really excited. Excuse my nails. <laughs> I've been picking off my nail varnish. So yeah, one day I'll get them uh, manicured and they won't be scabby, but not at the moment. Oh, it's so cute! <laughs> I love, I really love nice packaging. It just, it makes it feel like you're opening a present. Although I'm never very good at not ripping this. <laughs> yep, there we go, rip. Oh, she sent me so much! <gasps> Okay, I was only expecting the t-shirt, which I was so excited about, but she sent me some other goodies too. And look at this shredded tissue paper, how cool is that? Okay, I'm gonna read this little note first. Okay, she wrote the sweetest message. I am gonna treasure this forever. I've started making a little pile of um, notes from you guys because honestly, they make my heart burst. And this is where you can find her. I'll leave her link below as well. I love these colours. So you've got top priorities, to-do list, notes, cool mum greeting card. I really love this illustration style. And I love me some stickers. Ooh, this is shiny. I'm loving the glossiness. Okay, now this is the creme de la creme. Oh my goodness, the quality of this. I don't know if the camera shows it properly, but the quality of this is amazing. I wish my nails looked like that right now. <laughs> okay, I cannot wait to put this on. I'm gonna wear this in next week's vlog with my dungaree. I think I will look like a cool mum to be in that. I feel well and truly spoilt. Send some love her way, because her Instagram is awesome. So I finished packaging the orders and I'm gonna go to the post box now. But I think I'm gonna end the studio vlog here. I really don't think I've spoken to you guys that much this week. It's just been so hectic trying to get those orders out after the launch. Anyway, I'm gonna head home. And even though it was a super short video without much talking, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So I shall see you next week for another studio vlog or a drawing tutorial. I haven't decided yet. Okay, bye.